Hey, it's Steve, Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Uh, just bringing you up, uh, up to date on some of the stuff going on. You can see I have the lovely electrical panel behind me here. And one of the few corners we haven't painted yet because we're still drilling and screwing things in here. Uh, we're still doing the soft opening on the museum. Uh, finding out what's wrong. Uh, we have some, uh, turns out we have some plumbing issues as far as uh, drains underneath the building itself. So I'm trying to get that remedied, which kind of uh, is a pain in the ass when you're uh, dealing with uh, the public coming in. Uh, we'll get there. It's just uh, we have some options. I got to talk over with uh, the guy that actually owns the building, figure which way we're going to go. Something I need to do before we can do our official grand opening and have a little party. Kind of hard if I have to have a portal on out front. Now, some things I just want to talk about today. Now, those of guys that uh, know you've been down here, we've. Uh, it's like a noisy truck going by. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of the uh, out outings now. Uh, obviously, we want to get some keynote speakers here, but obviously, we're having to get all these little little issues in the bathrooms and stuff like that fixed. It's kind of inconvenient. But uh, we are going to start doing some of the uh, more outings down at the park. Uh, that's something we can do. That deals with someone else's plumbing. <laughs> doesn't affect us. They just meet us down there. We can go out there and then bring in some. Uh, we'll go out with equipment. These AGMs, by the way, are great. These are amazing scopes. We've kind of leaning towards those instead of the flare now because they talk to the cameras. You can put them in a bracket a little bit. But, uh, so I apologize that I haven't been on the road and doing anything as far as that. I've been busy with this and all the other craziness. Now, on top of everything else that's happened in my life, uh, my father's 94. He's down in Hudson, Florida. Well, he's got some uh, health issues. He's in the hospital now. So I've been in touch with... Uh, his wife, my stepmother, and uh, contact with Cheryl. Uh, today, he seems like he's doing a little bit better, but he's still in ICU. So I really need to go down and see him. I mean, uh, so I'm gonna do is probably as drive down, it's just easier. I mean, at least I can take advantage of the trip and maybe do some interviews and some investigations along the way. But I'm uh, gonna spend a little time with him. Even though they're going, no, hold off, hold off, you know, typical father thing. But uh, it's kind of my game plan. I just haven't decided exactly when I'm leaving. I'm just steady, trying to pack up. And now because of me being an old geezer and the issues I'm having with alpha gal and all this, I have to carry food with me because I can't eat out easily. I can get cross-contaminated. Carry things, exciting things like peanut butter jelly, mashed potatoes, a cook stove, tuna fish, you know, just that kind of crap you get to eat. Just I get some kind of food in me, lots of water and uh, some kind of alcoholic beverage to keep my mind straight. But uh, that's the plan to be on the road uh, sometime, probably this week, maybe starting early next week. But uh, I'll let you guys know what's going on with that. You'll see videos as I go along the way. Something else I want to talk about, the MetaZoo Kickstarter. How crazy that. Now this is a new Kickstarter that Mike came out with for the uh, playing cards. These are regular, you know, like bicycle type playing card things. But they're gonna be based on uh, Kryptonation, uh, wilderness, and let's see if he's got all written down here. Uh, nightfall. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Now it launched yesterday, which is uh, today is the first. That was January thirty uh, first at nine Eastern uh, Standard Time. Uh, I was a little late to it. I was busy listening to another podcast, and I was out. And by the time I got home, I'm going, damn, you know. I want to get into this because you know how it is like with tops i mean i couldn't get anything for tops i mean just you know it crashed a server i mean anything metazoo is just nuts and i just realized i'm wearing my metazoo hoodie and uh but anyway so the goal was fifty thousand dollars to do this and uh as of now which is 4 31 p.m in littleton north carolina he's at one million nine hundred and thirty thousand three hundred and Three dollars. How's that for a little bit off a budget? Isn't that crazy? I wrote the mic and said, "Like, is this a record? <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. Less than 24 hours, he's over a million dollars. That's just crazy, crazy." Uh, I bit in. I got. I went for it because I've got a. Uh, I've got the disease now. I'm. I'm hooked. And uh, so I. I, I kind of went a little deeper than I normally would do. I went for the 520. I guess it comes to 550 with shipping load which is a ton of stuff it's you know 10 of these 10 of that you know but it's crazy but uh so i'm, I'm all into it I, i'm all excited i think this is a big deal uh i just uh 
really, really thrilled with it. We're uh, going to become, uh, we actually worked it out so we can sell MetaZoo here. We're going to start with Wilderness, which is kind of based more on us with the Bigfoot and Bigfoot sightings here and the stuff that we do in the Cryptozoology Museum. Uh, so that, that's another thing. And once again, once we get the damn bathroom working, we're going to start out here doing some uh, in the back room here, which is where the second second uh, part of the uh, museum, having some uh, competitions here. And I've never done those before, so that's going to be interesting. I'll reach out to the crew and find out the proper way to do it. And when I'm hearing, you need to have someone in that actually is a, a MetaZoo head, knows what the heck's going on. So we'll figure all that out and get that worked out. But uh, that's another another thing we're going to do here. Add to the list of things that we're doing. But uh, that's crazy. I mean. Uh, I missed the first Kickstarter. Matter of fact, I, I, I was sent an email, which I kind of, in the middle of COVID, said, like, someone wants money? You know, that ain't happening. No money coming in. And then uh, Mike was nice enough to actually send stuff out to a lot of places like museums like myself and things. And once I got it, I remember get, opening this box up and going, I mean, how drunk was I on Amazon that I ordered this stuff? I'm not even into cards. And, that I looked into it, made some phone calls, and realized what it was, and that was it. Once I started to look into it, got more interested, and started watching other uh, YouTubers talking about this, because I wasn't talking about this. I was talking paranormal, Bigfoot, you know, UFO, and uh, so now I'm doing. We've got a whole MetaZoo line stuff, but that's cool. But we're doing some tie-ins with them, some other stuff. Uh, so we're all excited about that, and uh, I just, I'm very impressed, very proud of the uh, the guys over there, and. Uh, I'm glad I got, got into it. I'm almost kind of wonder if I should have dug a little deeper, but there'll be more stuff around the corner. Mike, it's never ending with this with Mike and the gang there. God knows what's going to be going, you know. Uh, so, but uh, it's crazy. I can't believe though a million plus in less than 24 hours. So I guess they're going to be sold out by the time it gets to be nine o'clock tonight. I, don't, I have to look through and see what's left in there. But uh, just a little little update. That's about it. I'm working on the museum here, trying to get some stuff done behaving myself and drinking tomato juice here. I've been feeling better as far as uh, just my health. I'm losing weight. You can see everything looks baggy and stuff on me. So if you want to uh, get a crash diet, let a tick bite you. Uh, just living off uh, chicken and fish. Is, uh, sounds like a great idea. And I guess if it's your choice to do it, but boy, it's boring. I tend to find myself now overloading on hot sauce, and salts, and Cajun seasoning to compensate for the lack. Matter of fact, we're doing gumbo tonight, so I'm really excited. Something to be a little bit fun. I'm trying to get more into the seafood world, which is when I lived on Long Island, New York, that was easy. Fresh seafood. I had friends that were clamors. Now, I'm, you know, out, up in almost the mountains over here, so not exactly the place to get fresh seafood. But uh, uh, I guess that's about it. I don't know if I have anything else to say. Uh, we still want to do the murals on the building. Uh, the weather is just cold. As soon as we get the outside looking prettier, we'll be sending you more pictures of that. Uh, got more work to do in here. We're, uh, we've got some, uh, we're still moving around building some displays. Uh, right now, just uh, things come first. I have to deal with my uh, hearing noises in here. We get that all the time. Literally, my daughter's back door, she has a separate entrance for her side, has a bell on it. And uh, the, the bell you heard wasn't that. That was just a message coming through. But I'll hear the bell. It sounds like the door open, and the door rubs, and so does this one. And that's what I just heard back there. It sounds like someone opened the door. If it was my daughter or my wife coming through, they would announce I'm here. And just, I do the same thing when I'm coming through, so no one freaks out. We did put some cameras in here, so we're hoping to get something. I won't go into the whole story of this. We are going to do an uh, 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 investigation. We're going to go live here. But just, it's always something in this place. It's nuts. Anyway, I'm off track again. Uh, uh, I'll let you guys know what's going on. I have no idea where I'm going to be stopping along the road or when I'm even leaving at this point. But uh, I'll try to hit some locations. And uh, on the way back up, my plan is to go up through Georgia and hit some other areas I haven't been into where there's been some Bigfoot sightings. And maybe I can do a little Bigfooting too. Uh, that's about it. Uh, everyone, I appreciate you uh, supporting the museum, liking, subscribing, sharing, and all that. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going to be happening here. It's just baby steps, and of course now we've been having snow here too, and all it takes is a dusting to shut everything down. So beyond that, uh, we appreciate you guys. We really do. And uh, 
I hope everyone has a good and safe one. And uh, everyone, uh, just be good to other people. Everyone take care of each other. That's important these days. It's been a crazy couple of years. All right, take care.